So let's look at how we can move a folder of layers uh, from document to document and also how we can kind of uh, create ourselves a bit of a poster effect um, from the multiple individual images using the likes of our cartoon action. So what we've basically got here is a purpose made document in size and we've got a colored background running through and we've got three different kind of sections of folders. Each of them contains multiple spot objects and effects uh, that we covered on the cartoon film. So um, the first things first, let's kind of just go ahead and delete those. Um, we'll start from scratch. So all I've done is create uh, an image size, as you see here, it's the image that is its height, 2000 pixels, and I've created a 6000 pixel wide. So um, this should accommodate the 2000 by 2000, three different images that we created if uh, uh, we needed that size. So then we kind of uh, look at our um, individual photographs. And basically, as you can see here, uh, we've got um, the folder uh, which, which is showing. Now to move that to the poster document, I can do it in two ways. I can either just grab it, hold, hold it across the new poster, document and just release it and then basically Photoshop copies across all the information that was in the previous document into the new image. Now in my move tool you can see I've select the group layer uh, so it, when it's auto select is switched on I've got it to select the group and not just the layer otherwise we would actually move something within the contents of the actual box itself. Okay so let's move that around to the one side and once we've done that, of course, we can technically uh, close this one down now. And the reason being is that basically it's uh, it's not being used anymore. Obviously, if this is a Photoshop document, we need to save, 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 save it. Um, basically, we would obviously save it as a PSD file because it's a multi-layered document. Uh, you might have noticed then that I actually put a W on the end of my document and that means working. So it doesn't mean it's finalized or finished or whatever. Um, so it's just kind of my sure hand to know if there's a W on the end of a file or an F on the end of the file, it's either working or finished. Obviously, if it's still working on the original file, it wouldn't have anything else except for the file name itself. Okay, so let's do the same thing again. So just to repeat that once more. So all we've got is all the uh, layers contained within a group. So if I just collapse the group by just clicking on the toggle button, then select on the group with the uh, mouse, and then go and hold, hold it on top of the other document, drag it onto the document, and then let go. So once it's rendering all the smart objects and everything else, now they're going to remain smart objects within the folder. That's key for me uh, in case I want to actually go and change anything. So remember, I've got that groups switched on and the, uh, the auto select instead of the layer. Otherwise, it'll start to try and move stuff within the inside of the group. Now, there is another way to actually move something across as well. And that is if we basically right click on the uh, group of layers and then you're going to see it's duplicate group. Now it's going to bring up a new dialog box like here. And now you've got the option to select what you actually or where you want them to be copied to. So in this case, it's going to be poster.psd. Now, if for any reason you don't see your document in there, it's because it's e either a grayscale and you're working on a, a RGB file or it could be a different bit depth as well. Okay, so uh, a JPEG, TIFF and PSD, PSBs will all show up um, except if they're in the wrong color space uh, as far as the document is concerned like RGB versus grayscale and so on. So in this case, I'm just going to select on the uh, poster.psd document. That's going to copy that across now and all its contents. So whenever I click onto the poster now, we can see that basically it's being copied across here. All right. So um, that's uh, the first thing of this film is basically knowing how to actually move and uh, move them across. So either click and drag. Remember, you can't copy as a rule to actually kind of bring them in, even with the smart of objects. But each one of these remains there in individual um, content. So, for instance, if I go to the blow cheek one and I look at the levels command, 
and I open that up, I can actually turn it down so it's not going to be as bright or colorful, whatever it would be. And obviously I can actually just get it to pass through into the one layer below. So um, control is the key thing there to begin with. Another one would be is if we wanted to, say, change the background color. And that would be another reason why we want all three images or we want to overlay them together and so on. Now, as you can see, as I start to move the middle image across onto the left hand image, we can see that there's a background behind this photograph. So if we just open it up to begin with, we can see that we've got three different smart ob objects. Two are instantly visible as far as the, the, uh, the photograph is concerned. One is a high pass filter over the top. So anyway, double clicking onto any one of these will open up its basically its um, uh, document uh, showing then uh, that it's actually got a cutout inside and there's also a solid white background. Now, if I just switch that off for now and I save it, because this is the uh, smart object file I opened up within itself, when I come back to the document, you'll see that background layer now is now invisible. Okay, we took, uh, we took it away. So um, in other words, every time we do that, you can see again, it has basically a background on here. So I need to once more in this one, I need to go to the crouch figure, double click onto one of the smart object layers, switch it off, save it. Go back to my poster when it's finished. And then in the same way, I may as well go back to the blow, the blow face. Um, that's already been done. In fact, no, it hasn't. I'm still on crouch, blow face. Yep, that's still got a white background. Double clicking it, switching off the background, pressing Control S to save the document. And you can see these documents are opened up as PSB files, but these can be shut down and reopened up again. So all these um, smart object files I've opened up are basically no longer need, uh, needed, but at any stage I can go back in and, and do it. So uh, let's um, look at the background and how we could actually kind of create an image. Let's say we want to add in just a colorful background to it. In this case, just selecting my layer zero, which is technically my background layer, just going up, selecting on a solid color. Let's go and choose a bright, shocking pink perhaps, and just go from here. And then if I wanted to add uh, something a little bit kind of funky within here, um, I could basically go in and perhaps uh, use the pen tool, clicking onto shape, choosing a color that I want. Let's go, um, should go white. No, let's go lemon just by sticking on, sticking on the selection, just press okay. And then we'll just go to the pen tool and we'll just create a nice little shape. And all the pen tool is doing it, of course, is giving us a lovely round kind of slope. Here we go. And so the great thing about this now is that if I need to actually go in and actually change the color, perhaps the uh, graphic designer cha uh, cha change the mind, all I've got to do now is actually just go back into it and then basically picking up the color picker, go and choose another color, and then straight away we've created that dynamic. So the main thing is when we're moving smarter ob ob objects from one file to another, we can basically either drag them in or right click and duplicate it and then assign the document.